Is the blue light play better than the Nexus 4? Hmm. Guys, welcome to another video. This video is strictly for the fans. I am telling you, one of the main questions that I get in my inbox is which one of these phones I like better, the Blue Life Play or the Nexus 4? Well, I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna cut straight to it. So let's get into specs. The Blue Life Play is uh, 7.9 millimeters in thickness or thin, however you wanna say it, and the Nexus 4 is um, 9.1 so which one feels better in the hand give a check mark to the blue light play blue light play feels completely nice in the hand it's very thin it's lightweight uh, it just feels great and it also looks good the nexus 4 on the other hand it's a little bit more weight to it um it's uh the glass back scares me a little bit uh, it does have a, uh, a nice grippy feel around the edges but overall the blue life play feels better to me in the hand so uh, if you keep the score one one point for the blue life play as far as size and how it feels in the hand we're going to give that to the blue life play <clears throat> now uh, the screen this is an LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touch display uh, it's 720 by 1280 and it's a 4.7 inch display and for your techies that's a 312 pixels per inch this one on the Nexus it is a true IPS HD display and it's a 768 by 1280 so that's a 4.7 inch display and it comes in at 318 pixels per inch now which one has the more clear screen uh, I've got the brightness all the way down on here and I'm not gonna turn it up uh, but I'm gonna jump out on a limb here and say uh, these don't have the same background going on them here, but uh, you go ahead and tell me which one you think has the clear display in the uh, comments there. But I'm going to actually give this one to, once again, the Blue Light Play. Uh, for some reason, uh, it just looks really good. Uh, even when the screen is all the way bright, it looks fantastic. So two points for the Blue Light Play. Um, <clears throat> and that is how I feel about the display. Now. Let's move on to uh, the sound quality. Sound quality on the Blue Light Play and the Nexus uh, 4 won't play any music, but because uh, there's so many copyright laws out here, it's unbelievable. Uh, but uh, the Nexus 4 has a speaker right here on the back, right on the back of the phone, and the Blue Light Play has a speaker on the back of the phone. Surprisingly, <laughs> this is, you guys are probably gonna think I'm making this all up, but surprisingly, the Blue Light Play is actually a little bit louder it's unbelievable how loud this this device is it is tremendous it 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 is just amazing so sound quality gotta give it to the blue light play again all right as far as tech specs go these both have uh, quad core um, processors uh, this one obviously has a, kind of a, a more affordable uh, uh, processor in it, clocked at 1.2 is a quad core. And this one has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core uh, processor in it. As far as performance goes, um, opening applications, I'll demo a couple of them right now. Uh, let's see, is everything clean? Everything is clean, no apps. So let's press the camera application, one, two, three. You can see the Nexus got there first. And let's open up the YouTube application. We're going to go one, two, three. As you can see there, the uh, Nexus popped it open first. And the Blue Light Play wasn't far behind, but it did pop it open. Now, as far as the RAM on here, the Blue Light Play has one gig of RAM, and this has two I believe let me double check on the specs here uh, we got one gig of RAM and two gigs of RAM so this is, this is probably why the uh, the Nexus 4 is out out uh, performing uh, the, the blue light play in some areas but all in all still the blue light play is no slouch so uh, as far as the camera quality is going I'm gonna jump over to cameras the camera quality on the Nexus 4 just it's really good uh, but I do need to give a point for performance, just a small test. Overall, you can do your own test if you want to in a long, long, lengthy video, but I won't do it to you. I've done plenty of tests off camera and the Nexus 4 was always a step ahead. So you've got a point for the Nexus 4 for performance. 
and uh, the blue I play has three points. So um, let's get into uh, these. Both have eight megapixel cameras, but like I was saying before. But the the Nexus Four it, video is a lot clearer. Uh, it's not as choppy. Uh, the blue I play uh, is a good camera. It's really good. Uh, but the uh, Nexus Four definitely uh, out, out, it shows it up in that category. So as far as the camera quality goes, pictures, video. Uh, they both do 1080p at 30 frames a second, but the Nexus 4 wedges that, that one out hands down. Uh, and I'm going to have to give a point to the Nexus 4. So there's two points for the Nexus 4 and three points for the Blue Life Play. So another category that I wanted to touch on is call quality because these are phones, <laughs> you know. People don't, uh, don't make phone calls much anymore, uh, but uh, they are both HSPA Plus devices and they're both on T-Mobile. Now, this is the weird part. The Blue Light Play seems to never lose signal. I mean, never. And if you were paying attention to this video, you might have to rewind it back. You'll even see the Nexus 4 drop signal as they're just sitting here. They both have T-Mobile SIM cards and they both are on T-Mobile HSPA Plus. But for some reason, the Nexus 4, it tends to drop uh, call quality. And call quality is good, but it tends to drop service a, a heck of a lot more. And well, the Blue Light Play doesn't drop service at all. So uh, that's definitely when it comes to call quality, they're both good, but the Blue Light Play keeps service. It has very strong antenna in there, I guess. And they're both on T-Mobile's HSPA Plus. So this point goes to uh, the Blue Light Play. So you keeping track? I think that's four to two in favor of the Blue Light Play. So uh, the next thing on the list here is which one is it what do i want to do, 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 do i'm just kind of going down the list oh battery here's a shocker this has an 18 or excuse me this has an 1800 milliamp 100 hour battery in there 1800 for the nexus uh, excuse me the uh blue life play and this has a 2100 milliamp battery in the nexus 4 surprisingly um oh, there's only a couple things sinking on here and a couple of things sinking on here but I, I don't know how they've done this, but Blue has managed to get some tremendous. Now, the the the, the CPU is, is different. Uh, it's not as powerful as this one, and uh, it's clocked lower. So that plays a big part in it, but it's still, this has a larger battery and a, a more powerful CPU, but this battery and this device, it kills. It is just a tremendous battery. The Blue Life Play definitely has the edge up on the Nexus as far as battery life. It is unbelievable. I, I'm so shocked at how nice this uh, battery is on this phone. You really can go a full day on here doing whatever you want. It lasts. So I gotta give another one to the Blue Life Play. Five to two, the Nexus. It's uh, kinda getting knocked out of the box here, but you know, the Nexus is still a great device. So let's get into the software. What you'll notice on the software is these look identical. Um, they, they look identical. They have pretty much a stock Android feel to them. They're, they're stock. Uh, the Blue Light Play, however, is not stock. Um, and it has some customizations on there. Like, so if I swipe down with, with two fingers on here, this is the menu that I get. See how that's coming across on camera. It looks good. This is the menu that I'm, I'm presented with. And when I swipe down with two fingers on here, this is the menu that I'm presented with. So the Blue Light Play actually gives more options um, uh, to the settings from the pull down menu. It's, it's pretty nice. The Blue Light Play, I think they've done a great job at putting this device together. Uh, but this is pure Android. This is running on 4.3 and this is running on 4.2.2. And I'm pretty sure the Blue Light Play will be getting an update soon. Blue products, if you're listening, give it 4.3. It definitely deserves it. It's a great device. But as far as software goes, I can't really say one is better than the other because this is pure Android. And I know this is going to have an update whenever Google says it's going to have an update. And this is kind of pure Android, uh, but it's actually got some additives. It's got some things on there that are, that are really helpful in the menu. So I'm going to give this one a tie. So we're going to take it to five, to, or excuse me, uh, is that five or six? Six to three, one of them. Uh, Blue Light Play and the Nexus 4 will get a point for that. So um, how about uh, build quality? All right, so here we get into plastic. 
this is a soft touch matte plastic i mean it, it feels really good whoever thought of this design killed it um they, they did a great job on the design uh, it's very sleek um it's uh it just looks good and you can get this in a bunch of different colors too i have a white one and i also have this blue one um but the design factor the way it looks the blue is really nice the only flaw that i think they have is they're putting the headphone jack and the charging port usb ports on the top and leaving nothing on the bottom i think that's a huge flaw one of these needs to be on the bottom and it should be the charging port because when you're charging you're trying to use the phone it's hanging off the top very annoying so blue when you start to bring them out i need you to fix that as far as the nexus goes build quality on this thing and i have i have these screen protectors on the front here if you're wondering why it looks like that uh, yeah, they're on the front and back, but as far as build quality goes, the Nexus kills it, murders it. It's glass, but at the same time, it's very elegant. It, it looks really, 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 really nice. So I think as far as uh, design and build quality, this has a little bit more weight to it, a little heavy. It feels good in the hand. This feels better in the hand. Uh, the Blue Light Play feels better in the hand, but the Nexus's build quality is better. So I got to give a point to the Nexus for build quality. So do I want to go on and on and on? I don't, uh, but these are questions that people have been asking me. Uh, what I, which one's better? Which one is, what do you like better? And I like them both because uh, we use them both. So um, just a raw comparison, I have to give, let's go to price point first. Let's go to price point and memory. This has an SD card, only comes with four gigs of memory, but if you put an SD card in there, you can have the SD card as your default storage and everything that eliminates uh, having to move things to an SD card or running out of memory. That is like one of the, that's the second highest, well, that's actually the number one highest question that I think I've gotten when I first started talking about blue products. But um, you can, this one is kind of unlimited memory because I threw a 64 gig card in there and it says 32, I believe online is what it will take, but it'll actually take a, a 64. And you set it to your default memory and you've got a 64 gig blue life play. Uh, as far as the Nexus 4 goes, it only comes in a eight and 16, and this is the eight gig. So as far as price points go, and um, what the, the value of the devices, or just overall price point in, in purchasing. This is $200 and this is now, you can find it for 200. It was the highest you could find this before was like 228, which was reasonable, which is what this one costs. But now you can actually get them for $200, which is what the Nexus comes in at. Uh, but still, raw body overall, overall wanting and overall needs, I gotta give it to the Blue Life Play. It just, um, the fact that I can take this off and put a different, the back comes off and you got an expandable SD card and you can change the battery. Um, th that's where the Nexus kind of loses out, unfortunately. So um, again, I got to give another point to the Blue Life Play. So where do I stand? Which one am I using the most? Uh, I'm using the Nexus 4 more. And uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, this is, uh, the, my white one is being used too, but I do use the Nexus 4 a little bit more. Uh, just something about the Nexus 4, it just feels great. Uh, it's, it's nice. Uh, but the Blue Life Play definitely, I'm sure I'm gonna piss off some, some fans out there because a lot of people would say, oh, you know, you're, you're getting paid. It. Nope, no, Blue, Blue Products hasn't given me any money, uh, but if you wanna go ahead and uh, endorse me, that would be great. Uh, and L LG, Nexus, Google, they're definitely not giving me any money. These are just devices I purchased. And you, the viewer, you always ask these questions. So I felt like it was finally time to get these head to head and give you a nice solid video. So don't want to drag this out too long. Which one do I like better than the other? I don't know. It's, it's I don't know. Um, I like them both. I like them both. But as far as the matchup goes, the blue light play, um, it takes it, man. I, I, this particular video, it goes to the Blue Life Play as the winner. So uh, sound off in the comments uh, and tell me what you think. Which one do you think is better? Do you have both of these? If you do, do your comparison. Shoot me a video response. I would love to talk about it on your page as well. But as of right now, um, I say that the Blue Life Play uh, took this because uh, it gives you somewhat of a Nexus experience. 
Uh, it's a lot, weighs a lot less, feels great in the hand, you know, Nexus feels a little better, but still, overall, the Blue Light Play technically has more to offer than the Nexus right now. But I know there's a new Nexus device coming. Um, and uh, there, there's also, actually, there's actually a new blue product coming. It's called the Blue Life Wave, from what I understand. And there's going to be two variants. And they're both 5-inch HD displays. One is going to be 6.9 millimeters, and the other is going to be 7.7 .7 millimeters. Uh, if you didn't know, the Nexus 5, the LG D820, hit the FCC this morning, showing it off in all its glory. And it's actually also going to have a 5-inch display. As far as internals go, you know it's probably going to have a quad-core uh, processor. It's going to have an HD display of 5 inches. And uh, I think this is a great battle. Uh, but right now, Blue kind of kicked uh, the Nexus 4 in the you-know-what. So... Uh, hopefully I can grab up the 5 inch Nexus 5 and the 5 inch Blue Life Wave uh, when it hits the market and I will do a comparison of those. So as of right now, Blue Life Play, Blue Products, you have definitely created some. This is Jay Will. Take care guys.